Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. You know, I got a project that I'm not liking today. <laughs> my first problem was my uh, UTV Coleman UT400. We, uh, here in our uh, county, the township roads are allowed to drive these on. Uh, as long as you have insurance and registered. So last week we decided that uh, we were going to go to the neighboring town for a fish fry and got there. Everything was fine. Had our fish fry. It was really good. And uh, come back out and started it up and it sounded like a Mack truck. I thought, what the heck? And I pulled the uh, the box or tip the box and looked and I found that the and if I can get in there to show you the exhaust one of the nuts fell off and the other one the stud broke off up in the head and apparently when it cooled down while we were sitting there you know, it come out of place. And then when we started, it was noisy. <laughs> so I had it come loose once before, and uh, just had to snug up the nuts. But this time, it's a little more of an issue. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's going to be fun. Uh, hopefully, I can get in there and get a center punch on the center of that broken off stud somehow, and drill it out, maybe using an angle drill or something. I mean, it wouldn't be fun even if the head was off of there, but that's not happening. And this is the, the part that goes back in the head with this flange. So, Gonna get started on it. I'm either gonna screw her up or it's gonna work. <laughs> we'll let you know in a bit. Well, I come up with a plan. That stud is broke off up inside there a little way, so there's a, you know, the original hole there. And I thought, boy, if I could find something that just fit in there with a hole in it guide my drill keep it in the center so I looked through my goodies and I found this little sleeve and it fits just starts in that hole so what I'm gonna do is I got my angle drill here and I'm gonna just use that like yeah where'd you go there you are <laughs> uh, gonna use that to guide the drill and keep it in the center. And as long as I am not, you know, going one way or another, we should be fairly good, at least for the, the pile hole. And hopefully once I get a hole in there, as much as I don't have faith in easy outs, I'm going to try one. Hopefully it's not a drill it out and retap it scenario, but we'll see. Now the project is coming. It hasn't gone south yet, but it hasn't gone right either. Um, it didn't drill directly in the center. And I've tried easy outs and it is not coming out of there. The piece that's in there. So I've decided I've drilled it to the tap size and I'm going to tap it out and hope for the best. Um, of course everything's in the way this bar here I had to unbolt it and pull it up out of the way so it's uh, coming I'm gonna tap it and see how things go now I got her done and this stud was broken off too it was broke off out here finally found a piece laying down in there 
So they're both broke off because I know it used to have long nuts on it. So this one's kind of short now. <laughs> and my homemade fix is, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it down in there. Um, right here. I put a bolt. Oh, I tapped that. American size. I put a bolt with a uh, pretty healthy little compression spring. So now it's got some flexibility. So I'm going to see if that solves the problem. If it doesn't, we'll have another stab at it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.